so there's a growing gap between uh, players in the infrastructure sector who are looking for investable opportunities, both greenfield and brownfield, and the availability of those opportunities themselves. So in terms of the more institutional investors such as the infrastructure funds, uh, this is causing those players to take a broader perspective of what they define infrastructure as being, as well as the markets they're looking to. And they're, they're increasingly looking now to invest in higher risk markets to find those opportunities. In terms of the greenfield space, the primary infrastructure development space, uh, a number of players, particularly from the Northern Asian countries such as Japan, Korea and China, are looking for opportunities to globalise their businesses and again are being driven into the higher risk markets. I think the key issue here is that if we can get this match between investors and the investable opportunities right, this can create a very prosperous environment for the infrastructure sector for a very long term because it not only enables the infrastructure to be developed, but also provides an opportunity for the institutional investors to generate long-term yields on their investments.